past and the present are intertwined in Jerusalem. With the coming of the Messiah arrives the time when the temple will be rebuilt and all the peoples will live in peace. Let's ask people, do they know where is the Italian's new synagogue is? Yeah. Tourists from around the world want to see the Estonian architectural wonder, which was built by Coco architects. Wow, it is really beautiful. You too may make a contribution and fulfill mitzvah. It would be interesting to hear how they live. And what is new at the cinema? Here we have many distinguished visitors. Among them, academician Bronstein's son, who was the principal financier of the synagogue's construction. Let's ask synagogue superior, Rabbi Rafael Belchikov, who is a member of the famous Lubavitch dynasty. The highest honor shown to a visitor is to be asked to attend the reading of Torah.
chief rabbi, Shmuel Kot, why everybody wants to come to synagogue. Hello, Shalom. The Jewish life in Estonia is symbolized the Jewish life and the Jewish history since we get the Torah 3,321 years ago. If I have a very nice book, Talmud book, from the old time, hundred years ago, Jews used to sit in the old synagogue before the world and they used to learn. It was the yeshiva, koilel. It's called Chevra Poel Tzedek. Unfortunately, it was the first country, Estonia, to declare the Yudin Fry. During the Soviet time, it was the only one country without rabbi in Europe, without synagogue, without really Jewish life. We see amazing, miracle, ime, nes. Today we have Jewish life in Estonia. It's coming back. That's why the synagogue of Estonia is symbolized the Jewish life all over. That it could be whatever it would be. It could be danger time, difficult time, but we believe. And then now we see the future, the Jewish future. We are the Jewish future. We are peace and part of the old Jewish nation. We are Yerushalayim in Estonia, small piece of Jerusalem in Estonia. You're welcome to be with, that, with us in this wonderful Jewish life. <laughs> Bum bum bum